guys. So today, energetically, we are carrying over a lot of the same vibes that we had going on yesterday. We do still have Venus retrograde, Mercury in Pluto in a conjunction in Capricorn. We also still start the day with a Scorpio moon today, really adding to the intensity and the depth of all that we already have going on. Although today we do have the sun coming into a trine with Uranus and the moon will be moving to Sagittarius later today. Once again, triggering and activating our black moon, which we have become very familiar with throughout the course of this Sagittarius cycle, closing out this cycle as we head towards this weekend in our new moon in Capricorn on Sunday. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today is Thursday, December 30th, 2021. My name is Aubrey, and this is your astrological outlook of the day. Like I said, you guys, today the main vibes are actually, you know, the intensity and the depth of what we experienced yesterday beginning to wane out a little bit. But like I said, with the moon still in Scorpio, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is one of the planets in that conjunction. Just very, very, very deep feelings, deep and profound feelings that we have and thoughts that we have going on today. Um, and that is because we actually start the day with Mercury in the exact conjunction with Pluto. Yesterday, we had Mercury in the exact conjunction to Venus. They were one degree off from Pluto. But now today, Venus has retrograded, you know, a degree backwards. Mercury has moved a degree forwards, starts the day conjoining Pluto exactly, and then we'll move one degree off. Off Pluto as we go through the energy today. But Mercury and Pluto, this is the mind. This is our thoughts. This is a messenger planet with Pluto. This is very, very, very deep thoughts. And also, like I said, feelings with the moon and Scorpio today as well. But Mercury and Pluto together, you guys, this is profound, profound insights, depth of understanding, very, very psychic, very, very psychological in nature. You know, to be born under a sun or a Mercury-Pluto exact conjunction, that is just like the ultimate in the psychological and penetrating mind. That is the energy that we have going on today. Very, very strong psychic energy. And this is also very mentally transformative because Pluto rules transformation, purge, regeneration, purification, and that process is definitely happening with our thoughts and our mind leading to perhaps some type of very profound, deep insight that we may have going on today. We might just be really thinking very deeply about things and in conjunction with the moon being in Scorpio as well. Like I said, this is extremely just deep thoughts and feelings today. Every, nothing is on the surface level today. Everything is like going very, very deep. How we're feeling, what we're thinking, what we want and desire as well with Venus still a part of this conjunction. Everything is really searching for like the depth and the root and the core with this Scorpio Pluto energy so highlighted today by the conjunction with Mercury and Venus and the moon also in Scorpio while this is going on. Very, very deep penetrating uh, insight into things for sure. This is definitely an emotionally and mentally intense energy today, even though, like I said, these big aspects are starting to move apart. This energy is really um, beginning the day in a much more powerful way. As we go through the day today, it will begin to wane as, you know, Mercury moves on and ends this conjunction. But to start the day, we are definitely in this energy. And again, this energy was thick yesterday. Like this was the whole name of the game yesterday. So, you know, we are sort of like moving out of it, but now it's really just this emphasis on the mind and Pluto and also the power of our thoughts with that to you guys. It's another thing that I've really been stressing with this energy, this conjunction that we've had going on, the power that our thoughts truly hold to create and manifest in our reality and <laughs> to help us, you know, go through this collective process that we're going through right now where we are shifting our vibration, we are rediscovering and realigning with the things that we truly value, what's really important to us. You know, we are gaining a new or a better relationship to ourselves and our self-worth and our self-value and our self-love. And we are no longer accepting 
things that we used to accept before. We are no longer surrendering our power in the way that we used to. We are going through this hero's journey. We are transmuting our victimhood into states of self-mastery. We are graduating from our previous experiences and circumstances through this wisdom gained through experience and this self-mastery and this awakening and all of this self-empowerment that it boils down to. Again, you know, this is just another aspect, another piece of that puzzle, another part of that process today, and it's happening with our mind, these really intense transformations, really deep penetrating insights into things that are really changing, you know, our viewpoint. And with Venus there too, we are definitely reevaluating what we want, what we desire, and what we value. So yeah, we got all of that. Um, and also today, the moon, like I've mentioned, the moon is in Scorpio, but just to sort of kick the intensity up a little bit more, aside from the moon just being in Scorpio and what that generally does for us, especially when there's such an emphasis on Pluto, but the moon is in late Scorpio today and is actually going to be forming exact aspect to that conjunction of planets in Capricorn. It's a sextile, which is a positive aspect. So, you know, with... The, with all of this intensity that's going on today, all of this very transformative, this very regenerative and purging energy, and then we add the exact aspect from the moon and Scorpio as well, deep feelings and emotions to what is already going on, very much so like there's just this alignment that is happening between our feelings, these very deep feelings, these very deep thoughts, these very deep desires that we are kind of discovering are different than we may have thought that they were. It is just the recipe for a very deep internal transformative process. And again, with the moon in Scorpio making the sextile to all of those planets in Capricorn, this is actually supportive and actually helping us. Also, again, very psychic energy, intuition, very strong today. Spiritual guidance, very strong today. You know, if you get some type, and also, I'm going to talk about this in a few minutes, but we also have another aspect that is really giving us a uh, ability to have some really profound like epiphanies or flashes of insight or downloads or revelations today um and you know be very pay very close attention to any gut feelings that you get any intuitions any dreams for sure that you might be having any like premonitions or just strong like intuitive hunches um signs synchronicities be on the lookout for stuff like that today because there is and just you know allow your mind to be more open and more pliable because it is a very strong energy to gain uh, some type of penetrating awareness or some type of like true awakening with this energy that we have going on today Okay, so that's the moon in Scorpio making aspect to these planets. Like I said, the moon will then later on today will move out of Scorpio and into Sagittarius to begin closing out this lunar cycle in Sag. Um, and of course, that means with the moon moving into Sagittarius, this is going to trigger and activate the black moon energy again. This entire Sagittarius cycle has been dominated by themes surrounding the black moon and shadows and shining light into the shadows and gaining a conscious awareness of things that have been operating in the shadows. Very strong and prominent theme. And you know this if you've been following my work throughout the course of this cycle. It began with our new moon in Scorpio where Mercury, the planet in conjunction to Pluto today, again about uh, like figuring out the root issue of the shadows, Mercury and Pluto, was in an exact opposition to the black moon for our new moon in Sagittarius. And the new moon itself was only in a three degree orb opposition to the black moon. And this black moon energy was a very prominent theme, like I said, all cycle. And here we are with the moon moving back into Sagittarius as we close out our, our Sagittarius lunar cycle right now. Again, of course, activating the black moon as the black moon is in Gemini. Whenever the moon particularly moves into the sign either housing the black moon or opposed to where the black moon is currently, this triggers and activates the black moon energy, which is our shadow side issues, our fears, our insecurities, our subconscious programming, the parts of our psyche that are actually the most powerful in determining our conscious experience, although they operate behind the scenes and under the surface. And 
most of the time we're not even consciously aware that that is what is happening and that that is what is dictating our experiences and our reality. And this whole cycle as part of this great awakening process and the shift of the ages has really been trying to get us to crack our own codes, to reconfigure our own subconscious, to really understand and see the mechanisms that have been working underneath the surface of our own psyche that have been contributing to the states that we've been finding ourselves in and what we need to do to recalibrate that in order to really truly become the commander of our own ship and the programmer in charge of our own subconscious mind and as a result our own conscious experience because truly the way that our mind works and operates The real power for manifestation and what creates our experiences is the subconscious faculty of the mind. That's where the true power is really held. And, you know, we can just be these these beings that are being subconsciously controlled by a source of power that they're unaware of anymore as we go through this vibrational shift. This is where the self-mastery, one aspect of where the self-mastery comes from is our ability to perceive this this um like power that's operating behind the scenes and to really actually consciously take control of it and begin programming our minds ourselves instead of letting our experiences and society and culture and you know generational whatever do it for us we are becoming our own programmers and that is really what this black moon energy this entire black moon lunar cycle ruled by jupiter ruler of truth has been trying to tell us while we have the south node also in sagittarius about releasing old belief systems and ways of perceiving reality that no longer are in alignment with our our highest truth so yeah we we're closing it out now we have more black moon energy now we have the black moon the black moon is currently at 19 degrees of gemini today that sabian symbol or that energy that degree described in a picture form so that we can just get a better idea of how this energy this specific degree operates The Sabian symbol is in a museum. A large archaic volume reveals traditional wisdom. What has been revealed to us this entire black moon lunar cycle in relation to our fears and our shadows and the control and the power that they've held over us. That's another thing that this conjunction with Mercury and Venus and Pluto is doing for us. It's helping us to take back the power of our mind and our heart. And the power of our mind in conjunction with our heart, that truly is one of the most potent manifestation forces in this reality and that is actually what initially programs one of the things that initially programs our subconscious mind without our being aware of it throughout the course of our life anyways and as we take back the power of our mind as we take back the power of our our heart and our love and the passion that that can translate into the desire that that can translate into and you know put these two things together this desire in conjunction with our own control over our own mind, this actually is one of the main tools that can help us to begin to become the conductors of our own reality going forward in this in this reality as we go through this energetic paradigm shift. So yeah, but yeah, so with the black moon at that degree, what has been revealed to us this cycle in relation to our fears and our shadows, this again, it's black moon energy. So this is always going to be a heavier energy, but we are, you know, we are waning out very, like we are right at the end of the full moon phase right now. The, the, you know, the full moon half of our lunar cycle and this is about releasing so anything that comes up you know whatever fears whatever insecurities whatever shadows are being triggered under this energy at this point in time whatever heaviness that we experience it's just showing us you know what we what we've worked on where we're at and what we still have left to release before we move into this new moon in capricorn on sunday it's i feel like it's actually a nice thing in a weird way that we are ending this cycle you know of course with the black moon energy again heading like you know before we go into our new moon because our new moon that's our time to set our goals set our intentions make our wishes hopes wishes dreams align our desires with our mind our intentions our conscious thought and um really start you know, going through the process of manifesting what we want in this next lunar cycle. But right before that, we are getting the opportunity to 
really release some more of whatever fears or insecurities or darkness may rise to the surface as we close out this period of time. So we got that going on as well. Now let's talk about um, a little bit of other things that we have going on today. We have the sun making a couple aspects. The sun today is at 10 degrees of Capricorn, still in a square to Chiron. I talked about this aspect yesterday in my video. It was exact yesterday. We also, though, have the sun at 10 degrees of Capricorn making a trine to Uranus, who is at 11 degrees of Taurus, both Earth signs. So this is forming a trine. Trines are assisted, uh, like very assisting and supportive aspects. When a trine is in effect, something positive and facilitating and assisting is generally going to come from it. So, you know, it is Uranus though. And, you know, the sun is making both of these aspects simultaneously. Tomorrow will actually be the exact activation of this sun uranus trine but we have it in effect today as well with both the square to chiron and the trine to uranus this energy could be a little bit bumpy in combination uranus or i mean sun and square to chiron this can tend to trigger our wounds again at this point in time it's really trying to give us a gauge on how far we've come in our personal healing journey at this point in time and sort of what we how far we have left to go in really rising and overcoming our circumstances and you know coming into our self-mastery but um the sun and trying to uranus this might cause some shocks or surprises changes of plans some bizarre or strange or out of the blue spontaneous things happening may just there may be sort of just like a desire to sort of like just like spontaneously do something like really random today that like you wouldn't normally do for like just the feeling in the sense of liberation or freedom or something like that there might be like just some some type of random strange like change in your schedule or something that comes about or that happens today or it may be just like a different type of day for some reason today or tomorrow with this aspect going on but generally all like you know right now when uranus is making aspect to me this is also awakening energy this uranus and trying to the sun this can bring flashes of insight downloads epiphanies um, like really like prophetic dreams and ability to be freed from something just like spontaneously happening. Um, it can just like a radically changed mindset just all of a sudden out of nowhere, especially with all of the mercury energy that we have going on. See, that's the thing with the sun in the trine to Uranus and simultaneously all of this very transformative heart-based, mind-based taking back your power energy, also the square to Chiron and the moon in Scorpio as well. This is all really like a recipe for really waking us up to, you know, some profound things that may have been out of balance, specifically in relationships, partnerships, financial situations, stuff like that, but also really giving us like a really great sense of clarity and understanding. Also remember that we have Jupiter in Pisces now as well. That is really going to be bringing some truth to things that may have been shrouded in some type of illusion or delusion or mystery um, over the, uh, just over the past or at some point in time. But definitely, yeah, uh, just this self-mastery and awakening for sure represented by this combination of aspects of the sun today. The sun is also at 10 degrees of Capricorn today for these aspects. That Sabian symbol is an albatross feeding from the hand of a sailor. This to me is talking about giving in order to receive and trusting the signs again divine assistance in abundance today definitely we want to be tuning into our higher selves overall though it's like today the energy it's just another transform very transformational day and another day of like these profound awakenings it could be pretty emotional it could be pretty intense with all of this scorpio moon all of this pluto energy sun square chiron as well and the black moon Let's not forget the black moon coming back around, you guys. But um, lots of Uranus energy today. Uranus has been very active the past couple days, and tomorrow Uranus is going to be forming the exact trine with the sun. So shaking us out of our comfort zone, putting us on the right track, definitely trying to free us. Remember, we do still have Saturn and Uranus in square, really trying to get us to break free from anything that is restricting us, anything that is keeping us out of the genuine, authentic truth of 
who we are and being liberated to really stand in that, nurture it, cultivate it, develop it, and then use that as a source to like generate our own productivity and success moving forward in true Aquarian fashion because <laughs> that, that is the trajectory of the age of Aquarius. So you guys, that's really what I have. Oh, we also have the earth today at 10 degrees of cancer, a large diamond in the first stages of the cutting process. So we are creating something absolutely of genuine value and beauty. Um, <laughs> and it's just, this is just how, we're, how, how it's happening. All of this intensity, all of this transformation, but all of this awakening too. And th this is what is pushing us to that point. So that's what I got for the astrology today, you guys. Um, let's talk about the tarot for a minute. Was shuffling the cards this morning, asking spirit to clarify the collective energy, what's going on right now collectively in terms of where we're at and how we're dealing with all of this intense energy. It was a pretty positive message that came out today, you guys, despite everything that's going on. We got the Ace of Wands and we got the mag Magician. And then on the back of the deck, we got the World. So... This is all like what this is saying to me is that, you know, we really do at this point in time, the energy is very strong and very powerful for us to like manifest something brand new. This is manifestation energy. The ace of wands with the magician. This is manifesting from heart based passion. This is fire energy. This is <laughs> this is manifesting in alignment with our authentic creative potential and talent and ability in manifesting it. We have everything inside of us that we need to manifest from our authentic personal creativity. And we're the only thing, you know, that may be standing in our way right now is a need to close out a cycle. And this is what the world is talking about, you know, something coming to an end so that something new can begin. We are closing out cycles right now and we know that. I mean, collectively, <laughs> we are closing out the paradigm of the age of Pisces on, you know, the most grand macrocosm, you know. But boiling down, like I feel like collectively we are all closing out of uh, closing out a lot of cycles right now. And this is telling me that moving forward, you know, we really do have at this point in time, we need to follow our creative inspiration, our authentic personal creative self-expression. And that is what we need to use to manifest. This is a pretty clear message as well. And then underneath that, we had the Six of Swords on the back of the deck. So this is about the give and receive as well. You know, the things that we are manifesting from that personal, creative, authentic self-expression is what we need to be giving and receiving. You know, that's what we contribute to the greater good. And that is also, therefore, where we receive our value and abundance back to us. And this is the method of creation in the age of Aquarius. So we are waiting on closing out a cycle or we're in the process of closing out a cycle so that we can begin a brand new cycle. The world, you know, literally as well, this is also saying like the world is in the process of aligning with their personal, creative, authentic self-expression so that they can begin to truly manifest with everything that is held inside so that they can give and receive and not be reliant upon the external societal structures in the matrix that, you know, we may have been reliant upon up until this point when we were not so in tune with our own creative personal power to generate, you know, our opportunities for ourselves. So that's what we got going on with the tarot cards today, you guys. I am doing really good on time, so let me take my time and shuffle these synchronicity cards today. Um, this is going to be a message from God that is just meant to give us a little bit of inspiration or something that we need to hear, something that can help us as we navigate the energies today, any situation or circumstance that we might find ourselves up against. Maybe this is just what you need to hear whenever you're watching this. This is a timeless little piece of guidance from spirit. All right, let's see what it says. Go for it. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy because literally that is the same as this. This is like, go for it. This is like, you have what you need. Like you have everything that you need and you're starting something fresh. Go for it. And that's what this card says. Go for it. And so leaping up. And so he, leaping up, stood, Acts 3, 8. Take a leap of faith, go for it. Take the chance and leap. You will find God is lifting you over the chasm, or the chasm. 
the chasm, the chasm, the chasm. Let me start over. So he, so he leaping up stood, Acts 3, 8. Take a leap of faith, go for it. Take the chance and leap. You will find God is lifting you over the chasm and you are flying. If you do not have that faith, then find a bridge or teach yourself to have the faith. Nothing is impossible. This is, again, like a really beautiful message for the energy that we have going on today. And everything that we may be up against right now, you know, we are breaking the chains. We are breaking free. We are coming back into our power. And the tarot collectively is talking about this, you know, this inspiration, this idea, this like desire that we want to manifest and achieve based on our personal creative self-expression. And we have all of the tools to do it. So go for it. If there's something that you're thinking about, if there's something that you've been pondering about or wondering if you should do, if you should give it a shot, definitely go for it. I really, I'm just like blown away by how much in alignment that is with these two cards right here, because that's really what that is talking about as well. So opportunities are coming, you guys. And it's just, we just have to get through this process of going through these transformations and coming back into our our authenticity and our truth and our power and then really like tapping into our own resources and cultivating that personal creative authentic self-expression and figuring out how that we can use that to do this to give and receive like the albatross feeding from the hand of the sailor you know so very beautiful message from God today, beautiful message coming from the cards, beautiful message from the stars. I hope I was able to give you guys something that can help you navigate the energetics as you go about your day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends if you think they would be interested, and leave me comments. You guys absolutely love your comments, absolutely love your feedback. Um, I have a Facebook page and a Facebook group if you are interested in that as well, and and come back with me tomorrow you guys tomorrow actually I'm gonna have my new moon video for Capricorn for Sunday but I will talk a little bit about what we have going on tomorrow and Saturday as well although honestly not really that much in the context of all that we've had transpiring uh, for like kind of ongoing a while now. So we still have a lot to talk about tomorrow. We got the Capricorn new moon coming up that we need to prepare for. So come back with me tomorrow, you guys, and wishing everybody a beautiful day. Remember, go for it. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.